Hi everyone, this is Ms. Myra from Sugarland Branch Library. Welcome to our Painting with Chocolate program. Today I'm going to show you how to make colorful and edible art using chocolate. Let's get started. These are the materials you'll need. White and dark chocolate chips, food coloring, microwave safe bowls and spoons for mixing, a tray, wax paper, piping bags or Ziploc bags, scissors and a microwave. The first step is to pour chocolate chips into your bowls. Microwave the chocolate one bowl at a time for about one to one and a half minutes. Do not overcook. Microwave for 20 to 30 seconds at a time and stir. Keep checking the consistency. It should be smooth like this. Next, add the food coloring to each bowl until it reaches the color you want. Mix it very well. If the chocolate hardens, you can always place it back in the microwave for a few seconds. If the food coloring hardens the chocolate, add more chocolate chips until it becomes smooth again. First, we're going to make a Jackson Pollock inspired painting. Jackson Pollock was an American abstract expressionist artist. Abstract expressionists made art that represented emotions rather than the things we can see. Jackson Pollock was known for his strip paintings. Instead of using a brush, he made his paintings by dribbling paint on large canvases laid out on the floor. To get started, place some wax paper on a tray. Use a spoon to dribble different colored chocolate onto the wax paper. Add a layer of white chocolate. Place it in the freezer until it hardens. Next, we're gonna make a Mondrian inspired painting. Pierre Mondrian was a Dutch artist. He was known for his abstract paintings of vertical and horizontal black lines and squares painted in primary colors. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. To get started, fill your piping bag or Ziploc bag with dark chocolate. Cut the tip of the bag. On a new wax sheet, draw lines to create a grid. If you want to prevent the chocolate from spreading, place the sheet in the freezer for a few minutes between each layer. Fill another three bags with the red, blue, and yellow chocolate. Color in some of the rectangles using these primary colors. The last step is to add a layer of white chocolate to the entire thing. Place it in the freezer until it hardens. The last painting we're going to make is inspired by Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist. She makes all kinds of art, including drawing, sculpture, painting, and performance. She's known for the colorful dot pattern that is in most of her art. She's also known as the polka dot princess. To get started, fill your piping bags or Ziploc bags with any color you want. Make dots of different sizes all over the wax paper. Add a layer of white chocolate to the entire thing. Place it in the freezer until it hardens. Once your chocolate has hardened, peel it from the wax paper. It's ready to eat. Hope you had fun painting with chocolate. See you next time.